defending titles. Heavyweight Alexander Usyk. Please greet him. Give him a round of applause. I, I think this kind of press conference uh, should be more about questions rather than any kind of statement. So, uh, as long as we saw, Alex has made his statement in the ring, especially in the round number 10. So, uh, I'm not sure who's conducting the... Yes, if, there's, if there's no one here, so... Oh, yes. thank you very much. Alexander, congratulations. Can you just talk us through how that fight was different to September, please? Is this easy. Go after it. One judge scored it in favor of Anthony Joshua. That's the difference between the first fight and the second. Чем и чем отличается, что ты ты поединок, который происходил год назад. This fight that was taking place just one hour ago. Это уже важно было для моей Украины. It was extremely important for my country, команды, for my team, and personally for me. Because I did box for the whole country, and the half of the world. Я трошечки, але переживав. It differed as well that, uh, in spite of uh, my ability to control the emotions, I was worrying a bit. Especially in the round number nine. Но це був елемент surprise. But that was a surprising element. Энтони в той час, коли був восьмий раунд, він подумав, що він вже виграв. Я це побачив в його глазах, може такого і не було, я не знаю. I'm not sure whether I'm right or not, but uh, I saw in round number eight, I saw in AJ's eyes that he was feeling victorious already. Але я повторював собі. Ти не можеш зупинитися. Ти не можеш зупинитися. And I kept telling myself, you can not stop. You can't stop. You cannot stop. Доволі багато стояло на кону. Some big things were at stake. І слава Богу, перемога є. Пояси їдуть в Україну. Україна перемог. And thanks God, uh, the belts are coming back to Ukraine. The victory is with us, and Ukraine won. Right, second question here. Alexander, congratulations. Sorry, excuse me. Second question here. Alexander, congratulations, Antoine from ITV News. In terms of coming into this fight, people said that if AJ was able to use his size, that he'd be able to defeat you. Obviously in round nine, he did use his size, but you remained on your feet and you go home to Ukraine with the belt. So does that make today's victory a little bit sweeter because... So the reason why belts are coming back to Ukraine is that Anthony Joshua didn't use his size advantage to the end. Не розміри важливі, коли ти буксуєш, чи це справжня війна була в ринці. Size doesn't matter when you are fighting. That was a real war, genuine war in the ring. І розміри тут ні до чого. And the size is not that important. Я думаю, тут працює дух. 
this is where the real spirit works. I hope that luck signed by our soldiers, our fighters, who was several units of the chance. They sign warmest wishes to you and uh, wishes to the victory. You on the wing and ours at the battlefield. Thank you so much. Glory to Ukraine. Uh, and everything gonna be Ukraine. It's from Battalion 205. Козацького народу нема переводу. Слава Україні! And that 
it would look like a bear and I will fight. But that's, uh, I don't recommend him to do because uh, most of them are horrible street fighters. I have 20 points at this moment. Some of the guys have 25 points on the street. 25 points, 25 knockouts, and they all have 25 wins. I have 20 points, 20 wins at the moment. Some of my guys have 25 and 25 wins by the way of knockout. Hello. Hi, I'm from Barrack News. A very hearty congratulations to Usman. And my question for him is, since everyone thought AJ is going to win, and he himself believed that, do you think that he was very desperate to win would be a disadvantage value for his defeat? Can you repeat one more time, please? I'm sorry. Uh, everyone thought AJ was going to win. Uh -huh. And he himself believed it. He was very sure that he was going to win this rematch. But do you think because he was so desperate to win, would be a, like one of the reasons for his defeat? I'm sorry, but not everyone was thinking Joshua going to win. Like most of them. Not all I would say probably 50-50. Maybe even 60-40 to Alexander. Obviously, Ukraine has changed. So what is your wish for your future? What you love to happen to Ukraine going forward and yourself? The tourists all around the world are going to travel to Ukraine because Ukraine is very rich with history. Багато людей в світі вже бачать, колись вони знали Україну за дикі спортсменам: Кличко, Шевченко, Усик, Ломаченко. Many people in the world knew Ukraine because of the athletes like Klitschko brothers, like Andrei Shevchenko. Lomachenko, Usyk. Yes. Zaraz nasz Ukrainą wejść świat zna je, jak tu, jaka zachęcia swoją Ukrainą od drugiej armii świata. 
Now the whole world knows Ukraine as the country that is defending itself from the second army, second biggest army in the world. І ми дуже гарно стоїмо, ще й накидаєм їм. And we stand strong. And we give some around that. Я просто хочу сказати, що деякі люди в світі, вони недооцінюють когось. Відчиніть, відчиніть очі, що відбувається в світі. Просто відчиніть і подивіться, що відбувається в світі зараз на території України. I want to say that some people in the world are underestimating what's going on. I want to appeal to everyone, open your eyes and see clearly what is really going on in Ukraine. Тому що українці, українці вони не здаються, вони до кінця. І не будуть йти до кінця, і вони переможуть. Ми переможемо. Це просто треба трошки часу на це і все. Ukrainians never give up. They always go to the end. They always win. We're gonna definitely win. We just need a little more time. I think with my old ears, I heard you say that the only fight you would now take is the Tyson Fury for the undisputed championship. Is that correct? That you might not even fight again if you don't get that fight. Sorry, the question is whether he wants to fight Tyson Fury or... The question is, I think I heard him say in the ring, Yes, that's true. That's what I said in the ring. We've got one more last question. Oh, uh, Alexander, um, Vladimir Putin likes to talk about being a black belt in judo and finding his horns topless. But you're now the baddest man on the planet. Is that a pretty cool thing? And is that great for your, for your compatriots and your soldiers to see? Excuse me, can you please speak a little louder because I can't hear you well. Vladimir Putin likes to talk about his judo black belt riding his horse topless and being a macho man. He's the baddest man on the planet. How does that feel? Can that inspire your soldiers and your people? Але ти найкращий козак на землі. Як тобі набихати людей? Добре набихати людей. Він це все робить. Він показує, що він сильний, і що він моцний, і що він красивий. Насправді він не такий. Це все обман. Він показує, що він сильний, але він слабкий. Він показує, який він, але він дуже слабкий. Everything he shows is just to show that he is strong, but he is not. Otherwise he wouldn't do that, wouldn't show how strong, how big he is. In reality he is very weak. And with that we conclude the press conference. Thank you very much everyone for attending. Congratulations on Alexander Usyk. That in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad, I've punched him a few more times. There's five blokes outside my front door, you come and help One hell of a fucking story, so stay tuned.
welcome Team Everlast to the Team Everlast Fitness app. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.